dear students, I'm going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series Medical 2021 TYM. Your test is number 7, code C and D. Your test was held on 8th of March 2020 and I'll be taking your botany section. So the very first question in the botany section is question number 91, which says, select the statement which cannot be true. First option, all living organisms grow. Yes, this is true that all living organisms grow. Second one, self-consciousness is the property of all living organisms. No. No doubt, self-consciousness is shown by living organisms but not by all living organisms. Human beings show self-consciousness and other all organisms, they show consciousness. So, this is incorrect. Third one, some organisms are incapable to reproduce. This is also true that some organisms cannot reproduce at all, such as infertile couples, worker honeybees, mules, etc. Fourth one, non-living object does not exhibit metabolism. This is also true that metabolism is the defining feature of living organisms. It is not shown by any non-living object. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92. Biodiversity is referred as first option, diverse environment of a particular species. No. Biodiversity is formed by many species, not by a single species. Second one, the number and types of organisms on earth. It is true. This is the correct definition of biodiversity that the number and the type of organism constitute the biodiversity on earth. Third one, availability of different food resources for a specific organism. Not at all. Fourth one, variation among the offsprings of an organism. If an organism shows the variations in his offsprings, this is not the biodiversity. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 93. A recently discovered organism was given a scientific name according to the rules assigned in ICZN. That is International Code for Zoological Nomenclature. It means that organism is an animal. Now, which of the following features should not be related to this organism? So, you have to find out the feature which cannot be related to the animals or the kingdom animalia. First option, capacity to convert glucose into starch. Yes, this is the feature which is not shown by animals. So, yes, this is the feature. Second one, presence of semi-autonomous cell organelle. No, this can be shown by organisms as semi-autonomous organelles are the mitochondria and the chloroplast and mitochondria is present in animals. Third one, ability to detect changes in the environment. This is consciousness which is the defining feature and it is present in all living organisms. Fourth one, plasma membrane as the outermost covering of the cell. This is also seen in animals. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number 94. Which of the following is not concerned with plants only? So these are the taxonomical aids which help you to identify the specimen. Now you have to identify the taxonomical aid which is not meant only for the plants. It means it includes animals also. Herbarium only for the plants. Flora only for the plants, botanical gardens only for the plants, museum contains preserved animal as well as plant specimens. This is not concerned with plants only. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 95. In three domain system of classification, unicellular organisms do not get any place. Before dealing with this question, we should discuss the three domain system of classification. Carl Woos proposed three domain classification system and he proposed three domains which are domain archaea, eubacteria and eukarya. In domain archaea, he placed archaebacteria, he placed eubacteria and in eukarya, 
he placed the four eukaryotic kingdoms that are protista fungi plantae and animalia now look back to the options first option do not get any place means unicellular organisms do not get any place in three domain system of classification not at all because in archaea there were archaebacteria they were unicellular u bacteria unicellular and the organisms which are placed in the protista they were also unicellular second option are placed only in one domain no in all three domains unicellular organisms were found in archaea and u bacteria prokaryotic unicellular and in protista they were unicellular eukaryotic third one are not grouped with eukaryotes no protista is there and fourth are placed in all the three domains yes it is true that unicellular organisms were placed in all the three domains so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question mm -hmm.